Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'll be covering the 5 best tweaks of October 2012. Three of them are paid, and two of them are free. And these are just general, really cool tweaks that have been out lately, and they are compatible with both iOS 6 and any lower iOS 5 firmware. And the first app I'm going to show you is a free one, iWidgets, for iOS 6. You just get two widgets, but basically it's a clock app and a calendar app. To get them, all you do is hold press on your home screen, just like you would on Android, and you can move them around in wiggle mode just like any other iOS 6 app. Same with the calendar. And you could just delete them if you don't want them with a little black X. So just cool little widgets on iOS 6. It would be nice if there were more. And maybe in an update we will get some more soon. But this is all it is for now and it is completely free. This next app called Ostium. It's basically a notification tweak that basically divides the screen in two when you slide down to get your notifications. So instead of sliding it down you get this cool animation and it looks really cool. Now the thing is, it is not compatible with iOS 6 for whatever reason, so you can't download it from the official source and I will provide you guys a link to download this tweak in the description down below because the official version does not let you download it if you're on iOS 6, even though it works perfectly on iOS 6. It's a cool tweak, so check out that link down below to get this for free. So check out that link down below to get this for free. Next up is Camera Tweak. It's a really nice tweak for the camera application. This is actually my favorite. So if I open up the camera application, it still looks exactly the same. However, now you have this silver dial right here, and you can go ahead and press it. Up pops this little menu. So now you have an even more advanced camera application, and you can go over here. This is basically a more advanced focus. This is a time lapse, which is really cool. You can produce some really nice images, especially in the dark with this. And here's a timer for your camera application that you can set to however much you want, which is very useful. Apple should have implemented this a long time ago. And watch, this will be implemented in iOS 7. It's going to be a revolutionary new thing for the camera app, but the jailbreakers had it first. Anyways, over here, basically get this really weird design. I really don't know what that is. However, you guys can play around with it and find out. My favorite part is in the video recording section where if you press the dial, you now get an option to change the aspect ratio so you can slide it to 16.9. There's many different presets and over here you can change the resolution of your video from 1080p to 720 to 480 and then just to lower quality if you want to send it, which is a really, really useful feature. Android has had this for so long, I really don't know why Apple doesn't let you change your own quality, but there it is right there. And over here, you can set your frames per second. So you can record 60 frames per second video on any iPhone, as you can see right there. This is a very useful tool. We basically just get an advanced focus mode, just like on the picture taking application. Anyways, this is a very useful tweak, guys. I recommend this one for sure. It does cost 99 cents, but it's completely worth it. And of course, you can get it for free, but I legally cannot show you how to do that. Next up is a tweak called Banner Borders, which is absolutely free. And every single time you guys get a notification, you guys get a border around. It and you can modify the color, the thickness, how round it is. It's a really cool little tweak that you can get absolutely free and it works great with Ostium. So every time you just get a nice little animation around the edge which looks really cool and for a free tweak it does very good. And lastly I did want to show you guys a tweak for both iPad and iDevices. Basically every single time you swipe you get these cool water effects. It's not a completely new tweak but it looks really cool and it works very well. It works on your lock screen, on your main screen, on your springboard, basically when you're charging your device anywhere. And you can change the ripple effect. It just looks really, really cool. And at $2.99, it is a bit pricey. I don't know if it's worth buying, but it's just very cool overall just to play around with for a bit, mess around for five minutes. Otherwise, $3, I don't know if it's worth it, but it's just a really cool tweak found on iOS 6 as well. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos like this soon. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below how I did. I would appreciate it if you liked and favorited this video. Also, subscribe if you haven't already for many more videos. Anyways, enjoy the tweaks, guys. Have a great day. Peace.